What you guys got another video on how to stop leaked DNS queries on Windows 11. You can also use this method on Windows 10. Now the smart multi home name resolution is a DNS that is related to a feature that Microsoft introduced back in Windows 8. It's also implemented in Windows 10 and Windows 11. So we're going to go to the group policy editor by opening up the uh, group policy by typing GP edit. Then you want to navigate to compute configuration administrative templates and then network once you're inside here you want to come all the way down until you see dns client so let's click on dns client and then you'll see down on the right hand pane here turn off smart multi homed name resolution now what is this basically going to do well if you're connected to a vpn network then you're going to want to enable this feature because basically the smart multi home named resolution may lead to a DNS leak on your system since requests are sent out to all network adapters at the same time all configured DNS servers receive the requests and basically what this means is with that information being sent out there's a possibility that it could be leaked so what you want to do is enable this feature here you can read all this information yourself here but basically what you want to do is enable this feature and uh, you should then be OK and you shouldn't have any sort of DNS leaks. It just stops you from uh, leaking your DNS to your ISP. So just apply this and OK. And this is only necessary if you are using a VPN on a regular basis. So let's go ahead and close this off and uh, we'll talk about the VPN, whether you're using, say, for instance, uh, PIA or whether you're using Nord or any of the other types of VPN services out there, you really want to sort of think about doing this because obviously DNS leaks, it means it's going to be leaking what, you're, uh, what sites you're going to. And of course, most people are using a VPN for some sort of privacy. So for example, if you are connected to your VPN and you don't have this feature enabled, and basically you're using the VPN plugin in your web browser and you haven't disabled this feature, then your IP address, your public IP address, could still be leaked even if you're connected to a VPN. And uh, if you're using Windows 10 or Windows 11 and not turned off this DNS resolution setting, then your IP address could still be uh, detected, which is not a good thing. So you definitely want to turn that off if you are using a VPN. Now, if you don't use Windows 10 uh, Pro or Windows 11 Pro, then you can use your registry to block this and I'll show you how to do this. Basically what you do is you need to navigate to this location here, what you're seeing on the screen. So the location is HK Local Machine, Software, Policies, and then Microsoft, Windows NT, and then DNS Client. Now, because I've already enabled this feature, you'll see the policy is already set in place because I've used Group Policy Editor, but you can see Disable Smart Name Resolution right here and you will need to add this into your registry. The way you can do that is just basically right click on a blank space here, go new D word 32 bit value and give it the name disable smart uh, name resolution right there. And then once you've written that out inside that little D word uh, 32 bit value, then you just give it a value of one that you see here. So just copy what you're seeing on the screen right here. I've already enabled that policy in group policy editor and that's why you're seeing it right there but you just need to add that okay and that's it pretty much when that's done you should be protected now remember you only need to add this in if you are using a vpn and it doesn't really matter what vpn it is you should use this feature to stop your dns from leaking your ip address it's important otherwise it's pointless using a vpn in the first place anyway with that said i think that's going to be about it my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again. Bye for now.